Here's six easy things to do to make pro looking stop motion videos in Final Cut Pro. First, I'll show you how to make stop motion out of pictures, including a retiming effect nobody's talking about. And at the end, I'll show you how to convert a video into stop motion with my patented three step process. Let's jump in. All right, the first step is to import your pictures. There's a few ways you can do this. You can click on the import button up here. You can go to file, import media, or you can press command I for the import window. Navigate to your pictures. Mine are in this downloads folder. Here it is, nosy knife. And then select all your pictures, set your event, and then select where you want them saved. You want them to copy to the library or just leave them in place and then click import all. All right, now that your pictures are imported, click on the first frame of your pictures, scroll all the way down and select your last frame, and then press E to add them to your timeline. Press shift C to zoom out and see all your pictures at once. Click in the timeline and then press command A to select all, and then press control D to change the duration and then enter one and press enter and that will change all of your pictures to one frame each. Press shift Z to see all your pics at once and let's take a look. Looks pretty good. By the way, I got these pictures from my friend. His YouTube channel is called Snick Snock Studios and I'll link to it below in the description. He makes a ton of different claymation. Go check him out. All right, one more step is to turn this into a compound clip. Press Option G with all of your pictures selected and enter your compound clip name and press OK. Now this is just one giant clip that we can move around, we can edit, and we can even add effects to. The compound clip just makes it easier to edit once you've got your framing set up correctly. Up next is my special three-step process for turning a video into stop motion. But first, we have to cut that video up. All right, so here's the video we're gonna turn into stop motion. Go to the beginning of the clip and then using the right arrow, move forward two frames, one, two, and then press Command B. That will cut the clip wherever the playhead is. We're gonna do that every two frames. One, two, command B. One, two, command B. I'll speed up this next part. All right, now that I've cut it up into two frame segments, now we need to add a hold to each segment. So go back to the beginning and press C so that you have a yellow box around it. So it's selected, then press Shift H. Press the down arrow to go to the next segment, press C, and then press Shift H. Do that over and over again. Down arrow, C, Shift H. Down arrow, C, Shift H. Unfortunately, there's not a faster way to do this, but it's worth it, so stay with it. I'll speed this part up. All right, I'll press Shift Z to zoom out, and you can see I've added a freeze frame to everyone. Oh, that took a while. Now I'll press Command A to select all of the clips and I'll press Control D and I'm going to enter two for two frames and press enter. I'll press Shift Z to zoom back out and then I'll press Option G and I'll make it a compound clip. All right, now let's take a look at our dancing stop motion. It's got that kind of juddery stop motion look to it. It's so cool that I can take a video and make it look stop motion. Now that you know how to do stop motion in Final Cut Pro, I thought you might like to learn how to make a time lapse in Final Cut Pro, so I made a video on that. Check it out here. It won't take much time, I promise. <laughs> 